Hi guys, welcome back. We are going to talk about chickens today. It is our first tutorial. Well, I'll be true to you. I did not come up with this. I did modify it to suit my needs and we will talk about what I saw on the original tutorial, which I will have a link to below, um, and the modifications I made to suit my needs in my game. Now, first thing you do is find a cave or a dungeon. You could do this in a dungeon too, but uh, I like the troll caves because you won't get smoked. Um, and I'll tell you why that's important. So you clear out the trolls. It was fun. You know my love of trolls. Um, clear it out. And the troll caves are the best. Um, your chickens are going to be protected from all events and raids and everything. Um, it's, it's They're just so wonderful. Um, now in the original tutorial, you'll see that uh, he came back here and he put a little fire here he put some seeds down he put a couple of eggs down and suddenly he had a cave full of chickens well it didn't work out that way for me so it's just too big of a space you have to put a lot of eggs down and I didn't have that kind of money um, so it's too big of a space to just breed like that with just a little bit of eggs. So what I did is I put two eggs down. I enclosed this little area right here. You can see I put that in there. They bred and once I got uh, three chickens and an egg, I opened this up, I left the chicken go over here, I put the egg over here, and I closed this area off. I noticed that they were dropping their eggs over here, so I put a fire here. And then I realized, hey, I'm going to put a fire here, there, over there, over, okay, you know what? Wispy is starting to annoy me. So I put a fire in each of these nooks. And the reason I did that, well, one, I can see better. That was the original plan. But then I realized if I close these off like this, they're not running all over the place. They're enclosed and they're more likely to breed. And they're more likely not to stay full when I throw down the um, things. And the great thing about having the fires in each of these locations is that no matter where their eggs, oh, they're all gone. No matter where the eggs are, do we have eggs? I guess they all popped into chickens. But no matter where the eggs are in here, even if it's in the middle of the thing here, it will be warm. Here, we got two eggs out here by the thing. They are warm. No matter where they are, in this cave those eggs are warm so you don't have to worry about them just sitting there not breeding they will make chickens and that's what those eggs are for and the smaller the area the faster they breed so um it, it's kind of wonderful i don't quite have all the chickens i want yet but pretty soon i will and we will just go through here and leave two chickens in each of these areas. And um, we will start all over again. And it's working out great. Um, I noted, and we didn't discuss the signs, or maybe we did and I forgot already, but the signs and the fire are the two things you can make in a dungeon or in a cave. And I really like the troll caves because you don't get smoked. All those fires, not a single thing of smoke. It's wonderful. In the dungeon, I tried this in a dungeon, I got smoked out. Uh, it's just impossible to put this many fires down. You can put two down, but you're going to get smoked out. So it works best in the troll cave. And everybody's safe and everybody's happy and 
it's just wonderful and it's really not that dark in here now that they've got those fires going I highly recommend it and I hope you try it and I hope all your chickens are safe and tasty and wonderful so thank you for watching and I hope you had a wonderful day I hope you enjoyed enjoyed our first tutorial um, and please if you did hit that like and subscribe button uh, hit the little notification button that's what really just makes YouTube dance with joy and uh, leave a comment because I would really really love to hear from you and until next time you have a good one